blessed morning to y'all. It's your boy Demonte the Trucker. We back. We just got finished doing everything, rolling up the tarps, which is always fun. And unsecuring the load. This the uh steel play load we had. We woke up extra early to take the bulkhead down. But uh we couldn't untarp it early, obviously, because we're in Louisiana and it's it, it's raining, so off and on, but we got the okay to untarp it. That's what we got. Unsecure. And we finished. And now we just gotta oh I forgot about the mud flaps, but mud flaps for edge protection which didn't work as well as i thought it would work but that's fine ain't no biggie i got a feeling i'm gonna need some new tarp soon and we just got new tarps from orientation but the or the tarps are ass trash as usual well i think new tarps in general from my experience are the worst tarps to have because you gotta break them in Excuse me, I'm trying to put these mud flaps down. Yeah, new tarps. If I do have to buy some uh some new tarps, which is not gonna be new tarps, so I'm thinking about going with used tarps that been used, so I don't have to worry about breaking them in. These new tarps are stitching trash, so it's breaking, it's ripping apart already. The D rings ripping apart when I only had one bunch on each D ring. So that's new tarps for you, man. New equipment. But it's alright, man. At first, we first got here and they talking about they wasn't gonna unload me because I didn't have an appointment. I showed them my appointment. And then it was like, hold up, let me go check, let me go check. Cause we only supposed to have one truck today. I said I'm that one truck. <laughs> I ain't gonna come here without making sure I don't have an appointment because I've been here before and you need an appointment. That's what I told them. So he came back and said, okay, you, you good to go, but they didn't book your appointment, which is kind of odd, but that's what it is, man. But he said it's gonna be a while before they unload me. It's okay. Yeah, as long as they get it off my back. And till then, I'll see y'all later. So we are currently getting unloaded. It didn't take as long as I thought it was gonna take for them to put me back. But he's currently getting me unloaded. He's unloading these. <laughs> it's kind of kind of shaky i got it good thing i'm in the truck because i'll be nervous out sitting out there while he unloading it but he got a a regular not a regular size but a slightly like a it's a heavy duty but i wouldn't say it's like the the big old red forklift but how he unloading it is with just one forklift just unloading it from the middle but the place of 40 feet so as he unloading it <laughs> and it come out the trailer it slam on the ground and uh I almost fall every time but he's pretty good at what he do so i'm pretty sure he do it often enough to know how to do it i'm gonna try to get some sneak some clips but i'm pretty sure i get some clips since it, we outside not actually in a building and the thing about it they had us tarp it and all these steel plates are rusted and <laughs> are rusted and wet and he's putting the ones I tarp outside. It didn't come from outside, but he putting them outside. But I'm getting paid to tarp, so it really don't matter. It don't matter at all. So, $80 tarp pay ain't bad at all. But I'll get back with y'all. I'll try to get some clips if I can. If not, I'll see y'all at my next load. The GoPro acting kind of stupid. Let's try to zoom in. Try to catch some footage of it. We try to wind the window down, sneak some footage. He's unloaded, but I'm pretty sure. Let's see if we can get some some footage, but that's there you go. How you doing it? Good thing we don't gotta be outside, right? <laughs> What's good, gang? I wanted to give y'all a quick update. The load, it picks up. I knew it picks up at 3 p.m. I tried to get there early to see if they'll let me in, but they, then you gotta go. I think you could check in 20 minutes earlier, so about 3.10. 
We're gonna be there right now. It's currently 1400, two o'clock. We just uh, came from in a truck stop, took a shower, got something to eat. I know I got to secure a little, but I wanted to just knock the shower out. Ain't really that big of a deal, but we got a nice shower, about to eat, and that's the update. What's good, we back. Nice beat belt right there, nice beat belt. Long train. Ain't that got a spider web or something. Yeah, bad that happen, got a spider web. But yeah, we here, about to pick up some lumber and head on to Oklahoma City for tomorrow. We'll be there tomorrow. Probably finish driving today, probably about seven, eight o'clock in the evening. Shut down, wake up in the morning. Head there, get the load up. This is where we got to pick up. We all know what section we're getting. They got a bunch of different sections. But yeah, we yeah. What's going on YouTube? We coming to you from Tyler or Longview, Texas, one of them. I know it's close to Tyler. We at this uh, TA Express off of exit. I think it's exit 5, 587, heading west towards Dallas. And we, uh, right now we walking to the Denny's. We don't know if we want Denny's or Wendy's, but probably Denny's because it's a fresh hot meal. Yep, we done for the day. We got the lumber loaded, headed out. We parked with 50 minutes left on our clock. I ain't want to push it too much. And we found the perfect spot to park where they got something to eat and have a good amount of parking at this time, eight o'clock, 8 p.m. Central time. So that's where we at, man. We about to get something to eat and get back, drop this video and call it a day. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Demonte the Trucker. Thank y'all for watching.